Now we are going to solve our problem 2 on Norton's theorem and uh, this problem I have taken from GATE ECE 2011 paper and according to this problem we need to find the Norton equivalent current in amperes with respect to the terminals P and Q. There are four options out of which one option is correct and we are required to find that correct option. So let us move on to the solution of this problem. To find out the Norton's equivalent current with respect to the two terminals, we will first short circuit the two terminals. We will short circuit them and the short circuit current is our Norton's equivalent current and we want to find out this current in this network. Now when you focus on this capacitor you will find it is short circuited and uh, therefore it will not offer any reactance to the current flow so we will remove it and now you can see that this inductor and this resistor they are in series and after that their equivalent is in parallel with 25 ohm resistor. So it is visible that this current 16 angle 0 degree is getting divided at this node. It is getting divided into two currents and this current is current ion. So we can have ion with the help of current divider rule. So let us use the current divider rule to find out current ion. It will be equal to the total current entering the node which is 16 angle 0 degree multiplied to the resistance offered by the other branch which is 25 divided by the resistance of other branch plus the impedance of self branch. So we have 25 plus 15 plus J30. This is 40 plus J30. Now we can multiply 16 and 25. This will give us I n equal to 400 angle 0 degree divided by 40 plus J 30. Now we can take 10 common from the numerator and 10 common from the denominator and we will have current I n equal to 40 angle 0 degree divided by 4 plus J 3. Now in order to perform the division we will convert 4 plus J3 to its equivalent polar form. So we have I n equal to 40 angle 0 degree already in the polar form. 4 plus J3 is having the polar form equal to 5 angle 36.87 degrees. Now we will divide 40 by 5 and we will subtract 36.87 from 0. So we have I n equal to 40 divided by 5 which is 8 angle minus 36.87 degrees in amperes. But the options are in polar form so we will convert it to the polar form and we will have Norton's equivalent current equal to 6.4 minus J 4.8 in amperes. So from here you can see that option A is the correct option.